Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Today, we need to hand on over to the next area, which would be Elden. The Elden area. Specifically heading towards what is basically Kakariko. Because that's where the Elden Spring is. I guess it would be the Spring of Elden. Is it the Elden Spring or the Spring of Elden? I'll call it the Spring of Elden. I think makes more sense. Uh, so that's where we're heading now. Gotta go and maneuver through Hyrule Field to get there. And... I absolutely love the music for Hyrule Field in this game. It's honestly, I actually really like it. Even though Hyrule Field is kinda giant, Seriously, like, Hyrule Field is huge. Um, I believe it's to our... it's to the east, so it's to our right that we need to go. Just giving us a nice little overview of Hyrule Field here. We go this way. Unfortunately, we currently don't have Epona. Because Epona was stolen from us, like, in the first episode. It's gonna be a while until we get Epona back. Not a while, we actually probably might... Probably next episode we'll get a... Yeah, I think probably next episode is when we might get a phone back. Hey! <laughs> Go no further! There is a black wall ahead that blocks the way! I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier, known to some as the postman. Now that I have introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. To read a letter, press down on the D-pad to open the collection screen and then select the letter. You can do that to read any letters you really receive. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! Didn't he just come from that way, though? Why did he go back the same way he came? Anyway, what's this? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Approach me at high speed and do not flee. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Because that obviously missed. Anyway. So, yes. Gotta go right back into the twilight. That means more playing as Wolf Link, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually, I, I like playing as Wolf Link. Not as much as I like playing regular Link. Because we have dungeons and stuff as regular Link. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is? If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from the twilight anyway. So, shall we try to go see the light spirit of Elden? <laughs> yes, Minna, that's exactly what I plan to do. Want me to let you into the twilight? Yes, please. Why? Time to be a wolf again. All right, let's go. That's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Ah, uh, look. How lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this than in those dusty old clothes anyway. <laughs> so, let's get going. Alrighty then. It's my old wooden sword! Gotta sniff it. Sniff it. Oh, it's the kids. Oh, four of them, jeez. You learned the youth scent. 
See, isn't being a wolf more convenient? Now use X to hone your senses. You've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. He <laughs> Gotta follow this trail now. Gotta find the kids! The kids! Unfortunately, Ilya doesn't look to be in that one as well. Oh wow, that was just very quick. I handled that much faster than I usually do. <laughs> then again, they just like all came at me at the same time. I honestly thought I was gonna get hit, but whatever. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Oh well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. The yellow arrow marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures in the darkness, a portal opens that looks like this on the map. You hear me? It's called a portal. You'd better remember that. And, in those woods we came through... Yes, it's gotta be around there. I'll use my power to take you to the location of the portal. Pick where you want to go. Uh, oh god, which one was it? Which one was it? I think it's this one. I never remember which one it is. Oh my god. Could have ended very badly. See, I told you, we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You'd better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. Lady, it's literally right here. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Yes. Good little obedient wolf. Watch it, lady. Teleport it, lady! It's gotta go to the same freaking process. You know what? I wonder if that process is painful. Because it looks like you literally, like, fade into a hundred little bits and then come back. Eh, it's magic. And again, it could probably be nauseating. Just like... Who knows what the inside of the portal looks like? Who knows if you can even see anything inside the portal? Why am I asking these questions? Like, what does it matter? It's a portal! It's teleportation! If I could teleport, I'd do it all the freaking time! No need for a car or gas anymore. See? Just as I thought. <laughs> so... Isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what we're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Wolf. Wolf. Okay, I honestly think the A button is just faster. I mean, yeah, it's probably more like... Yeah, now that I think about it, we can do it. Huh? Huh? What are they doing here? This is a perfectly elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in? Or out. I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in. Yes. Dig. Oh, I completely forgot when you had to fall. <laughs> Come on, mate. Get up. Come on. There you go. Bye-bye. Literally right there, freaking beginning, jeez. And welcome to Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village looks a lot different in this game compared to every other game.
Come on. Come on. See if I can just get all three of them at once. Oh, whatever. Let's just chomp on this one and then we'll just take out the other two. Hey! And that's done. To the hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. This way. Hello, matey! What is it you need, my friend? I am a spirit of light. Hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. And we got another vessel of light. Yeah, same thing as we did in Fair and Woods. Gotta do it again. The insects of darkness. They are the form taken by the evil attached itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with the locations of the tears that have turned into shadow insects. But be careful, the darkness now haunts you. Alrighty then, first things first. In here. Uh, how do we get in here again? Right, okay. Hey, you, hey, you can climb up there. Up here, please. God. And down we go. Hello. Christ, I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They've gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out, and then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her. And a whole gang from the town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and then there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? That means that if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... BARNS! Look, Renato, all I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. <laughs> what? You've got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. <laughs> I would not do that. When Father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beast outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. I 
I can feel it. Hmm. These kids knew you'd come to save them. What a hero! How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. <laughs> you are chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit. Or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows what you've done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. But don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose this state of affairs, after all. Anyway, what's with the light? What's with having to light the candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you going to do now, my lonely little hero? He. <laughs> I don't freaking light everything. It's literally welcome to light in the Zelda. There's a puzzle with freaking candles or torches. You light everything. That's just common knowledge. Really, game? This is what we're doing now? Oh, come on. Freaking light. The heck? There we go. is this? The entrance to the cellar, opening on its own. Could those beasts have engineered even this? Down into the hole! Oh my god, there's three of them in here. What the heck? Hey, come here! That poor guy got stuck on the wall. Right. Out we go! You could be. How about that? From Looks like you can climb the scaffolding. Yes, I need your help to do it though, Midna. Alright. Where are we? In the graveyard. Is there anything here? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, no, not at least for right now. I always get confused about the Howling Stone in this section, and now I just remember he adds in Death Mountain. Uh, okay, where are the rest of them? What, 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 what? No, we've already been up here. Uh... Okay, we've got one that looks like it's over here. Mate, I really don't want to deal with you right now, so leave me alone, please. I'm just trying to get these freaking shadow beasts. Uh, we have to light this on fire. Stick. I believe there's just one in here. I'll make sure. Just look around. Oh, there's a chest over there, though. Hmm. Alright, get up, the both of you. Come on! Nice. That was a twofer. What's in here? 20 rupees. Fantastic. That's always good. I feel like I should mention this now. I'm probably not going to do the magic armor situation. Because I've never done it before, and I don't think I'm going to do it now. There's too many ruby collecting stuff. Uh, is there anything? Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Rupees. Get, get up there, Link. There we go. Alright, now out of here we go. Okay, up here. 
And out we go. Still need to grab a few more of these spirit or um, insects. Aww. Okay, so there's one in the building directly across from us. No, not directly across. Slightly directly across. In this building. Mm -hmm. This building here. Question is, is it this building? Yes, it's, it's this building. The question is, how do we get up here? Okay, I believe we can go the other way. And this building, I believe we can get to from here. Yes. Alright. I believe it is up here. Yep, there he is. Hey, get down here. Hey! Ow! Fucking stay up there, what the heck? Okay, now I believe this takes us up to the top. There's a building up here that requires... This building right here. He's gonna go in there. We're gonna... Okay, come on. Link. Get in the hole. We're gonna come in here. Alright, we have to light this on fire. Alright, and now we gotta get out of here as fast as possible. Huh? What did you do? Sorry, but as romantic as this is, I'm not going to stay here with you. I'm getting out. Well, so am I, Vita. Yeah, and now this whole place is going bubble. And it takes out all three of them at the same time. Effective, but we destroyed a whole building. Suppose there's any nicer way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you had to sacrifice someone's house to find tears of light. But that's how the cookie crumbles, right? Uh, yeah. Except this would have been a lot more useful to us if we just kept this place up. Uh, I need to go over here. Right here. Bye. And there's just one in here somewhere. Hello? If you want to go outside, we'll have to climb up from here. But don't you think you should take care of your business first? Yes. No, stop it. Get, get down there. Oh, it's the box. Or underneath the box, rather. Done. Alright, we should have three more to go. Now we have to go up to Death Mountain. Hey, at least we're going to be able to become human again in this episode. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, trying to think of what happens after this. I think I remember now what happens. Really Looks like the path is impassable, but I can get up, get you up if it, it if you want to go. Yes, I know I do want to go. We need to go up there. We have no other choice. Let's get the rest of the spirits. Okay, so be Zane, Goodbye. Farewell. I want nothing to do with any of you. Goodbye. See you later. What the heck was that, Link? Right. Got him before he was even able to go on the ground. Eat it. All right. Now the Howling Stone. Okay. Simple enough. Fairly simple. Some of these get a bit harder. 
They're all like really easy stuff to do though, but you, like sometimes you need to watch it a few times. Teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. <laughs> and now I'll just mark it on our map exactly where he is. I believe he's in orbit. Or somewhere near Farron. No, it's the hold on. Wait, what? No, it's the Orden province, yeah. Right there. Funny enough, we have to go back there. That was intention. I had to take a quick look at my mini map because I got lost. Just didn't know where I was for a second. Ow! I didn't even see that. Welcome to Death Mountain. Yay! Four of them this time! Fantastic! Link, what the heck are you doing? Alright. What does it look like? Okay, so you can go over here, get this one first. Of course, he's the one that's separated from all of them. Okay, got him. Okay, ouch. Alright, two of you. You. Nice. Very simple. I remember the first time I did this, um, I had to do it a second time. Because when I did, like, the, this, I don't even know what to call this. Um, when I did that, I accidentally, uh, hit, like, one of those invisible wall type things. And, and it stopped, like, the, uh, the attack. So I didn't hit the last one. Alright, so we got one more to go. Looks like he's over here. No, wait, I have to go this way, I guess. Yes. Up here. Get up there, Link. Okay, don't have to time this correctly so I don't get hit by that. Perfect. Okay, we have to go up again. Money? Money! Money? Money! Um. Oh, okay. I see. Now I have to time this correctly so I don't get hit by that one. Perfect. Alright, and where's the guy that's up here? Oh! I think he's actually down here. There he is. Dude, you can take care of things so quickly when you're a wolf. The vessel light is full of tears, and light has returned to this area. We're human again! Aww, we're just starting to have fun. Don't forget that few shadow! <laughs> See you later!
My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am the spirit that guards these lands. O oh, great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already those grounds have been defiled draped in shadow and seeded with evil. You must go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. save us. You are the one from Ordon whom these children spoke of. We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this... <laughs> this is my daughter. The beasts took us and left us to die, but Mr. Renato found us. At first, I couldn't believe they had come from so distant a place as the Ordano province. Yeah, I... we don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone's captured, and then... until now, it's been like... a nightmare. Yeah. It was like a terrible dream, and we couldn't wake up. Nightmares are everywhere these days, it seems. This village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships. The dark beasts attacked, but even worse was the sudden and inexplicable change in the mountain-dwelling Goron tribe. They had long been our friends, but suddenly they tre treated us as foes. Even now, they refuse to permit us entry into their minds. It strains the limits of belief to think that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly. It makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. I, of course, cannot leave my village in such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us here. But it is my job to try to coax the Gorons back from their recent change of heart. All three of them look at me and like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. I'll help. Alright, let's do this. Gotta go up there anyway. Supposedly the fused shadows up there, so... Did I say that right? Is it the few shadows? Now I'm doubting myself. What is the name of the anime? Let's check. Yeah, a few shadows. I'm not crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Anyway. Gotta go up here to trigger the next part of the game. So, oh, frick. Hold on. My frickin' Wii U is showing me that it's low on battery. Pull the charger out. Hold on, give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Oh my god! Oh great, I just turned off the freaking power. Fantastic. And we're 
plugged in. Okay, let's do this. Wait, hold on. I get everything set back up again. Wait, hold on. All right, there we go. Let's do this. Ouch. Come on, like climb up there. Not so impassable, is it, Minda? Not when you're the hero of freaking life. Ugh! No humans allowed! These lands ahead belong to the Goron tribe. The Elder said no humans may pass. Alright, dude, you wanna do this? Do this, let's do this. Come on, dude. Oh, God! Ouch! A human's strength is nothing compared to a Goron's. Do you understand me, human? Then away with you! Fine, you don't be so freaking rude about it. Freaking could have just talked to me about it. You didn't have to freaking hit me. Oh, hello, Renato. Ah, how fortunate you in one piece. I saw you heading up the mountain trail, so I was worried. Are you trying to reach the Gor Gorons of Death Mountain? It is far too dangerous, Link. They recognize only strength. A normal person could never persuade them. But I do know one person who was able to best them and earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your hometown, Ordon. Please, go to him. And while you are there, please let him know that the children are safe. Of course, getting them back would be best. But we could not keep them safe from the monsters in the road without a horse and cart. Please, return to Ordon and inform the parents that the children are free from harm. Give them my word. All right, off we go to Ordon. Freaking came back the way we started. All right, I forgot about this. I love the music that plays here. It's like a little version of a, of a Pona's song, but I caught her too quickly. All right, baby, we got a horse now. Just want to check really quickly. Hmm. You're not too shabby a wrangler after all. Won't this make getting back to your town a lot easier? Now go finish your errand so we can get back. Get a move on. Yes, Minda, I want to check something very quickly, because I always forget when exactly this freaking place opens. Because the last time I did the next section without coming in here and buying the next shield, and my freaking shield burned up! Not at Death Mountain. Let me be clear about that. I wasn't that much of an idiot. I got the Hylian shield before I went to Death Mountain. But there's like a little section where you fight some guys that have fire arrows and I got hit by a fire arrow and my shield burned up. So I didn't mean to get down. I've been playing too much Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, great. I might run into a wall too. Alright, off to Ordon. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Oku. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Frick does this letter say? Uh, I was so happy to meet you and spend a bit of time with you. I'm planning a trip to a new location, just so you know. If you continue your journeys, you might see each other again, so take care of yourself. 
P.S. I didn't have a chance to tell you this last time, but I have a son. I'll introduce you if you meet again. He's a good boy who can help you like an item, so be nice. Alrighty then. Back to the task at hand. Gosh. Freaking control of opponents so sensitive in this game. Alright, on we go. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to Oran. Right over here. Opponents, I, I feel like this is like really the only Zelda game that actually like got the size of a horse correctly. Like opponents giant in this game. Compared to the other Zelda games, especially Ocarina. In Ocarina, Link is bigger than opponent. At least in the N64 version. At least that's what it looks like. Like Link looks literally like chonkier than opponent. Alrighty then. Onward. Then right over here. And Ordon should be right this way. Oh, I still have to cross the bridge to get to Ordon. And we also gotta do the, uh, the 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 golden wolf guy. We gotta get a new hidden skill. Man, that hidden skill training music always reminds me of Hyrule Warriors. Down. Come on. Oh, matey! Or should I say, the hero's shade. <laughs> we meet again. You have a little more of the look of a hero than you did before. Do you feel ready to look to earn your next skill? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you. The ending blow. Now then, come at me! Got nothing to me, dude. Yay! Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My second skill is... The Shield Attack. Let it be hewn into your mind. No matter how well-tempered a blade is, if a foe is clad in armor and bears a shield, the sword will do it no harm. When facing such a foe, you must use the art to thrust your shield against the defenses of your enemy, causing the fiend to recoil. Use ZL to lock onto me, then try it. You have learned this much, so I am sure you can see the moment when you can do a shield attack. That moment is literally at any point in time. Excellent! Open a hole in your enemy's defenses and use your sword to strike without hesitation. The shield attack I have just taught you can also be used to repel an enemy's projectile attacks. Would you practice? Then repel my magical attack with your, sh with your shield attack. Stood there and took it, poor man. Perfect. When your enemies assail you with projectile, this is how you will defeat them with ease. Done. You have learned the second of my hidden skills, the shield attack. You learned the second hidden skill, the shield attack. Long out to a foe with ZL and press ZR to thrust your shield, dazing your enemy. But I have five more secrets to teach you, in time. The path to becoming the true hero is a long one, but once you have grasped all of the hidden skills, you shall be worthy of walking it. You must persist on the lonely path of the sword to obtain true courage and earn the strength to con conquer the great evils of the world. Do not forget your discipline, with the blade before we meet again.
Oh, okay. Hold on one second. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, what the frick? She just like went for it. My god. Straight into the wall. Real this time, okay. Back into Ordon. We gotta go talk to the mayor to get the a new item. To help us with the Gorons. Also probably talk to the rest of the people, tell them that their kids are fine. Alright, so let's talk to everybody, tell them that the kids are fine. First lady in here. The heck did my headphones just got stuck on something? The heck? Link, are you okay? Oh, good. That's good, my dear. But please, you must tell me. You haven't seen the children, have you? They're fine, lady. Uh, oh. Oh, they're in Kakariko Village. Oh, thank goodness they're all still alive. I was worried sick. Phew, finally can get back to work in peace. Link, do you need something? You should take a look around here. See if there's anything you need without. Come back if, you, if there's anything you need, okay, my dear? We're good for right now, lady. You know what? I could probably drink like that half milk that we have and get a full thing of milk. But I'm not sure if we'll have... Oh, yeah, we probably will. This guy. Your kids are okay, dude. Link. The children? The children are alive! What? They're alive? This is fantastic! Truly fantastic! Oh, thank you for letting me know, Link. Uh, let's go tell this guy over here. We're at 47 minutes. We should at least be able to get the iron... I'm just gonna say what it is. The iron boots. Link! You came back alive! Talk about great news! Listen, please tell me all you know. Something about the little tykes. Huh? They're in Kakariko. Boy, that's a fine fix. We're gonna have to tell the mayor about that right away. I'll tell him. Just have one more person to talk to before I go to him. Gotta tell the lady caller is fine. So you don't actually have to do this. I just want to do it because I want to show off the dialogue. Link, I heard you were safe and sound. It relieves me so to see that you are hale and hearty. Uh, oh, Colin, Colin is alive. Oh, the children are all safe. Oh, how wonderful. I'm so glad I kept the faith. My thanks to you, Link, from the bottom of my heart. Have you told anyone else yet? You must tell them all. Oh, Link, that sword. The evil creatures stole it from Russell, but you, you got it back. How wonderful. I know it's safe in your hands, and you need it now, yes? Please keep using it, Link. Well, Link, I hope you return again to show me your shining face. It does my heart good to see you well. Man, the people in this village are all so nice. What the frig? All right, now on to the mayor. To get our new item, and to tell him that unfortunately we didn't find Ilya. Link! Too deep. Whoa, it is you, Link. You're safe and sound. Your clothes. What happened to you, lad? Come quick, inside. I see. So the young'uns are in Kakariko Village. Well, that's good. Renato is an old friend. If they're in his care, then we can relax. So, don't keep me waiting, lad. Tell me you're my little girl. Ilya's with the rest of them, right? Uh, unfortunately not. Oh, I see. That ain't what I wanted to hear. Uh, but Link, I guess I need to think of all five of those poor kids, not just my own. They're all in danger. What I should be asking is, how I can help out. So, something about the Gorons. 
What's that now? The Gorons of Death Mountain? I see. So Renato's told you that. Well, it's true. I did defeat the Gorons in a contest of strength and earned their trust with the help of a little secret. I can teach you the secret, but can you promise me that you will absolutely, positively will not disclose it to anyone? I won't, dude. Good. Alrighty then. Absolutely no one. Come this way. Link, you ever heard of sumo wrestling, right? Gorons like to match strength in sumo contests. Luckily for you, the basics of sumo are the same as stop and charge goats. You want to hear more? Sure. Alrighty then, I'll teach you the basic way of the ways of sumo. If you're getting in a sumo match, chances are you're in an arena like this. The first fella to push his foe outside the arena wins. Sit forward and grab your foe with A. Use B to let a retreating to foe taste your open palm. Sidestep a foe's advance with the L stick. Three techniques, all of them pretty basic. Master all three and you'll be shoving folks out of the arena in no time, lad. So there you go, the, th the basics of sumo. Need to hear them again? Nah, I got it. Rather than explain a lot, why don't we just get to it? Come into the ring, lad. Alrighty then, we just gotta beat this guy in a sumo match now. Well, that was simple. <laughs> the man didn't even put up a fight. Huh. You seem to understand the basics. Alrighty, next time I won't go easy on you, lad. Fight me as if you're fighting one of the Gorons. My charger is stuck on something. It's not stuck any longer. I'm spamming the A button! Do it again! Man, you're, how the heck did you win against the Gorons? Gorons put up much more of a fight. Whoa, -ho, not too shabby, lad. With your natural talent, I'm sure you can take on the Gorons. You've gotten a sight stronger in the short time you've been gone, Link. Strong as you are, though, you can't hope to beat the Gorons wrestling with power alone. Those Gorons are made of rock. Nah, the secret to beating the Gorons is locked away in that chest. Take it with you, lad. I have to take a sip of water after doing this man's voice, my god. <coughs> Shoot. Too gravelly. Iron boots, baby! You can probably tell, those boots are made of iron, lad. Whoever wears them won't easily be pushed around, even by a Goron. If you're fixing to fight a Goron, be sure to wear these those boots. Let's be square though, lad. You can't ever tell anyone about those boots. Especially Renato. I won't. Anyway. Gotta go back to the freaking Kakariko. I think I'm get there. I'm gonna do this little next. It's kind of like a boss fight that we have to do when we get back to Kakariko, so I think I might as well just do it. Episode might go a little longer over an hour, but probably only be like an hour and 12 minutes max. What the heck was that, opponent? Well, maybe not. Maybe we. I don't know. Can we do it in six minutes? I don't know. Well, the conversation afterward takes a little bit of time, so. But it's one of my favorite little conversations in the game. Just because of the music that plays during it. Okay. On the bridge. Off the bridge. Huh. <sighs> okay, back in the woods. Back to Kakariko. 
and do I don't know was it I guess more like a mini battle. I, I don't really know what to call it. It's nothing difficult. It's just horseback battle. So if we do this now, we can at least get to the. Um, Dungeon next episode, probably finish it up as well. Then again, maybe not. Slightly longer than the Forest Temple, but not too long. Almost there. Oh, right, we're gonna have to jump that gate. Hopefully, we can do it on the first try. Hopefully, I don't have to back up. Alright, and boost! Yeah! We did it, boys! in there. Okay, so I gotta make sure not to get hit by a fire arrow. Fantastic. Great. Hopefully I don't lose the shield. I really like the look of this shield. Even though I never get to use it again, still. I at least like to still have it. How did they have the time to tie that poor kid up? And stand exactly to have like a villain pose. Seriously. Yeah, this is the only like freaking calls in backup. And they have fire arrows. So that's great. Built extremely well for us. With a freaking wooden shield on. last time, so that's probably why my shield burned. I guess the, horse, the shield only burns if you fall off your horse. Hey. 
anyway. This is a cool little cinematic battle. Well, you need to have good timing for it, because if not, you're just gonna get hit off the horse. I, 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 sometimes I struggle with this. The last time I did it, though, I did very well on it. So what I like to do is just come over here, and then... That usually works very well. Pona, I need you to turn around. Pona, I need you to turn around. side and oh, I missed. Fantastic. Hold on. Turn around. Seriously, girl. What is up with you today? I can't believe I missed again. Turn around, girl. Come on. Just keep going too far. Ah, oh, great! Fantastic! I cannot believe it. There we go. I usually, like, the last few times I've done this, I, I haven't gotten hit. I don't know what happened this time. And I've dodged him twice. Super cool. Super freaking cool. Link? Is everyone okay? Sorry, you know, for shoving you. Are you mad? I I think I finally understand. I understand what my dad meant when he told me I needed to be stronger, like you, Lee. He wasn't talking about strength, like lifting stuff. He was talking about being brave. Link, you saved me, didn't you? You, you can do anything. Do something to help the Gorons in the mine too, can't you, Link? Alrighty then everyone, we're gonna end it off here today. If you enjoyed, please share the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess.